，幺儿，幺儿，幺儿，呜，呜，呜，幺，幺儿，呜，呜，呜，呜，幺儿，幺儿，幺儿。Yo, another day, another Bucko drink adventure here in Rimworld, Pirate King. Before we walk the plank and dive right into Bucko's new adventures, uh, thank you for all of your kind comments on yesterday's episode about the episode, about the animation in particular. I'm much obliged. I'll pass those very kind comments on to my animator. It's me. I do everything. I'm very stressed. Yesterday, of course, we defeated the Queensman and we managed to get ourselves a little pirate bulkhead here on this amazing pirate island that's going to be the base of operations for hopefully a very long time. And then we made absolutely no progress because everybody got drunk all the time. And in fact, that's probably a tremendous first item to add to our to-do list. Number one, brewery. Admiral Bucko's a traditional pirate who loves the drink and apparently... So does everyone else. And we've also got guests turning up too, so we've got to keep them entertained in the best pirate way possible. Let's get this bloody food situation sorted. I feel like this forest is growing back as fast as we can chop it down. Oh god, and how could I forget the renames? First things first, a lot of people are requesting that I rename uh, the pirate to Polly Gimp. It's a long story, just don't worry about it. There she is. I mean, Polly is a fantastic pirate name. Can't speak for Gimps too much. Then, of course, there's the little manner of our faction name. And, of course... We are called the Buccaneers. I should have seen it coming. Great suggestion. Thank you for that. And then the island, Crab Island, because some very astute genius in the comments said, it looked like crab. And boy, <laughs> it really do look like crab. Bearing in mind, though, a big plan for this series is covering every single one of these different islands with different outposts. So if there were some incredible names down there in the comment section, we've got very much many opportunities to reuse them. Don't worry. You son of a bitch. God damn it, Polly Gimp. Colonist named Polly, which you have accepted into your ranks, turns out to be an enemy agent from the Cursed Crew. God damn you. And that means I'm going to have to convert you. Immediately try to assassinate Sire. Clearly didn't do a very good job there. Oh, she is going to destroy you with that anchor. Oh, I hope you're aware of this. Oh, dear, Polly. What happened to her? You didn't get very far. To be fair, she kept her ideology, which makes things a lot, lot easier. Maybe she already believes in Bucko's way. Maybe she did it just to get undercover, but actually started starting believing some of Bucko's bullshit. <laughs> no offense, Bucko. Oh, I noticed a couple of people have that problem. What is that? Drop her a second. Sunstruck. Oh, it's heat stroke. Right, I understand. Sorry, again, we're gonna learn these pirate terms, okay? You're just gonna have to you're just gonna have to accept that. And there's already a wanted level on Master Cringe. What's he done? Warrant is placed on a colonist, which increases the raid chance until the warrant is paid off. What the hell have you done, Cringe? Oh, for God's sake. What has he done? Wanted for conspiracy posted by the Queen's men. I love that they didn't blame Bucko for stealing their outpost. They blame Mr. Cringe. But that's kind of the reason he's here. What the hell is a passive cooler called? Like, she's going to die of sunstroke. Where, where is... Uh, temperature. Where's the temperature tab? I hate this. <laughs> I hate this so much. What the fuck is it called? Climate. There we are. Oh, silly me. Of course, it's the breeze box in the climate tab. Look, the second I get used to this, it's going to be the most amazing immersive experience possible. For now, it's going to drive me a little bit insane. What the hell are they called? Peg leg of nature. Oh, that's great. Instead of a, instead of a stump. Uh, don't panic. Don't panic. Don't panic. Nobody's dying of heat stroke here. No one's dying of heat stroke. I'm not going to let you die of heat stroke. Well, you might. I, I don't think I can stop this. Tenant's unhappy. I'm working on it, okay? I didn't know it was called a frigging breeze box. Go, 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 go. Yes, there you go. Amazing. Superb. Incredible. Unbelievable. Amazing. Done. Easy. Is, it, is that any better? Oh, my God. Sire is fully here. Well, that's good news. You're not going to die of your, your sun strike now. Perfect. And what's wrong with you? You're starving to... Uh, what, what am I supposed to do about that? Oh my god! She would like to prolong her stay. Would you like to accept the same contract for 60 silver a day for three days? Absolutely I would. Let's ignore the fact that you almost starved to death and died of heat stroke twice. Master Cringe, are you shitting all over the dining room again? For God's sake, he's got grub poisoning. I'm sorry, Bucko's what has sprouted? I don't think I want to know about that. Grover, mysterious captain's nectar. Oh, it's Ambrosia. Oh, hello. Broja seems very piratey after all, and there's a lot of it too. My God, seems worth paying attention to. <laughs> you know, 
Probably not going to worry about that one, if that's okay. This might be mod of the year already. Between that and the beached whale, this is our 10 out of 10 experience. A couple of very important points raised in the comment section last episode. Somebody asked, what's a landlubber dissolver? I, I used to death acidifier. That's all that is. Don't worry about it. The other thing was someone asking me to explain how vanilla skills expanded works, given that every crewmate is going to be super important. I agree. That's a, that's a fair thing to bring up. So when they hit 15 in the skill, we can pick a specialization. Those give bonuses based on the skill that you're specializing in, right? So you get high social, you're better at warning or negotiating or converting people. That makes sense. But the important thing that we're going to have to pay attention to here is things like apathies. So apathies, they learn it really slow and they forget it very quickly. The other thing is a critical passion. I don't think we've got any. The way that works is you learn the one skill that has the critical passion very, very rapidly and all the other skills they forget very quickly. So it could be really, really good for certain characters. We just need to keep an eye out. We haven't got any for the time being. What the fuck are you talking about? Tri- <laughs> Hello, tricksy skills that we might have to keep an eye on alongside these rim cr oh, rim crabs. Oh dear, you get that from a club toilet, don't you? Moves in large packs, which can be a threat to smaller islands because of their ravenous hunger. Trust me, my friend, we haven't got any food. If you find any food on this island, how about we split it? Although maybe they're not talking about Mr. Cringe's stinky meals. Maybe they're talking about eating Admiral Bucko himself. Voidstone, all metal. All metal? What is that? Oh, it's, it's steel? It's this old collapsed structure rich in metal. What the hell is even that? Should we just assume that steel? Fucking pirate speak. For God's sake. 11 old metal. Me metal? Oh, you think I know how to speak your West Country pirate accent, given though I basically lived there my entire human life. It's got a bit of a sing-songy aspect to it. Dep well, depending on where you are anyway. All right, shag, that's good lush. Which roughly translates to, um... Hello there, my good friend, my good companion. That is very good indeed. Oh, the Queensman? Oh, for God's sake, a group of Imperials. I was not expecting them so soon. <laughs> oh my God, he's turned up with a freaking battle axe. Hello, how did you get past my crab guard? It's very frustrating. There's three of them. What is that you've got there? Service rifle. Service rifle from Vanilla Weapons Expanded. I have never seen that before in my life and I have no idea what it is. Let's just be careful. Mr. Cringe, man the cannons. Oh, goddamn, that old metal that we got can probably uh, probably refuel the cannons, right? Fantastic news. Oh, they're going to be aged yet. Okay, Mr. Cringe, return to your quarters. Oh, God, they're coming back. Mr. Cringe, man the cannons again, please. Fast as you like there, fella. Die. Boil and die, Queensman. Bucko, we've got to do something about that peg leg. You're not getting over here fast enough. Okay, I need you to leap out of the trees. Hit that man with the battle axe when he least expects it. Oh, Oh my god. Come on. Injured? Oh my god, how did that not kill him? Oh! <laughs> well, that certainly did the job. Back off, Bucko can deal with it. Great shot! We've got one as a prisoner. We could ransom him back to the Queen. Because that is, in fact, a mechanic that we have. Another level to our piracy. Get him captured. We are going to need a comms console, which um, we might be a little bit far away from, believe it or not. I love this red coat gear. My god. Although you do seem to be playing out in four hours. Is there much left to ransom back? Oh god, not really. Are we going to get less money for that? Now that I say that, they're probably not ransoming them back per kilogram, are they? Sorry, they're space British. Of course, I should say stones. Good old-fashioned stones. A threepenny bit per stone. Yeah. <laughs> or maybe nothing at all, because she's about to die. Oh, bucko. Death in 0 0.5 hours. If you want to take prisoners, maybe don't shoot them with a fucking cannon. I'm not here to tell you your business, Admiral. And game over. Well, you tried. Cause loss of blood. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, it's the simple things, isn't it? Really is the simple things. Ah, oh, now that we're done with the pirate farm... I think we better get back on with the uh, main event, if you don't mind. You know what? God damn you. We're pirates. We're free. This is a no wall city. Walls are the invention of the queen to keep us down. And we can repurpose all of this filthy imperial wood for a lovely tavern. Or maybe just a lovely brewery for the time being. Nailed it. Thank you, Mr. Cringe. 1%. Brilliant. I would like to make a correction. It was New Crab Island, not just Crab Island. Really living up to its name with all of these bloodthirsty crabs hanging around. Malady of sleeping sickness. Oh, for God's sake. The encouraging Polly and Master Cringe. Oh, this bloody storyteller is coming out swinging. It also drove all the sardines mad, but um, do not think that was worth mentioning? Hello? You'd like to stay for another 60 silver for three days? It's worth it. We're effectively just turning bananas into silver. And the courier has arrived again. Hello, that said something about you delivering rent, right? 
Have you got Bucko's doubloons? Boom, thank you. Nasario has delivered a grand total of 360 silver from our tenants. I mean, they're perpetually unhappy, but they're still, they're still going to pay because they're renting. And I mean, in my experience, that's par for the course. Admiral Bucko has collapsed due to being knackered. <laughs> what, what are you doing? Why are you leaving? Why is your ass out? She seems to think you're a terrible host and has decided to leave without paying. You know what? I got what I needed. I got what I needed. 172 entire pirate cloth. My God. Let's build a, um, a cutthroat table, apparently. See, just a pool table will do it, but that's fine. We've got a gambling table. There's not really much room. I'm, I'm trying to shuffle this room around, around a little bit so that we can do something with it. Tenancy for Arnold Yahara. Hello. 60 silver per day for five days for a total of 300. Absolutely welcome. Welcome. Why are they all coming in from the, from the Dread Pirates? What's going on there, huh? Very spooky. News of peace. How does that affect us? Um, I don't think it does at all. Tepaneka and the Queen's men have decided to cease all hostilities. Let's get ourselves some Bucko Brewing set up before they go absolutely insane. Let's have down a couple of those, because I think we might be drinking quite a lot of alcohol this series for some reason. Go oh, tenants unhappy, eh? Or let's see what Arnold's unhappy about, huh? Well, firstly, he's not happy because he's not in a relationship. So uh, this isn't that type of pirate base. Soaking wet. This man's come to the beach and he's complaining that he's soaking wet. Slept in the heat. It's a tropical beachfront island. And he's sad because he wants a much nicer cabin. And more specifically, because he's got the greedy tray, right? Whatever they've renamed it to. Avaricious. That's absolutely typical tenant behavior. They're just so selfish. <laughs> don't, don't hurt me. Hold on a second. You've only got sunstroke, but you're walking around wearing a freaking fur coat. Just take it off. Actually, it's much better in insulating than keeping her warm. So I actually put that fur coat right back on. I couldn't think of any more appropriate clothing for a tropical island. I accidentally deconstructed my enormous fish. Hey, put that thing back. Which, which one was it? Well, it's specimen large. There we are. There you go. It's, it's no problem. Good lord, I am struggling to manage the heat on this map. It's almost 50 degrees C. Don't get me wrong, this is still the future. We could slap down one of these vanimetric power cells we've gotten. We, we could put down some coolers or something like that. God knows where I get the steel from, but we could certainly give it a go. How's everyone doing? Are we all okay? Tremendously coddled. Oh, because he's, he's comfy. I understand. Good mood, good relationships. That's nice. All my relationships I have here are positive and constructive. He's friends with everybody. That's really nice. Unruly quarters. Someone disturbed his sleep. Fair enough. Missing the captain's pulpit. Wretched cabin. Siren's call. Someone gone to sail. I guess I could just stick them on a boat and send them out there. No alcohol. I can't do anything about that. They're all very, very pissed. A, a, a bucko drink. A bucko drink's got a minus 60 mood. I'm working on it, okay? Jesus. Yeah, just get on your boat and go sailing for a little while. Just go, just go and sail out into the ocean. It'll make you feel better. You get your spirits right back up. Shadowfall. What are you talking about? One of the moons of the planet. Oh, it's an eclipse. Okay, thank God. That makes it sound a lot scarier. There. Are you all happy now? Can I turn this boat around? Yar, me and me robot wife noticed your energy from across the tavern. Not about that life, okay? Mr. Cringe is being kept at an arm's length. Maybe maybe two arm's lengths. Glad that we got a lot to resolve before we can stick to a good work schedule. I'm just going to say full anything. Full anything. Do whatever you like. No queens, no overlords. It's pirate freedom. It's pirate freedom. Live your life. Okay, I didn't mean it like that, Mr. Cringe. I didn't mean like, like that much freedom. Please don't smash up the base. Penance unhappy. If you're going to complain that, uh, that you're hot or that you are wet, I can't... You're on the beach! <laughs> I just don't understand. Go and be a tenant somewhere else. You come to the beach where it is wet and hot and you complain that you are wet and hot. And now one of my prisoners has gone on a rampage. Why? Repulsive environment. It's prison! It's fucking prison! Oh, well, I mean, that kind of, kind of solved itself really, didn't it? Thank you. Appreciate that. Flesh leeches. Hold on. Whoa, hold on. That's a much bigger problem. Parasitic creatures in the muscles. Oh, it's muscle parasites. Flesh leeches is an absolutely disgusting way to sum that up. I like it. Oh. Oh, well, that's lovely. Okay, that's enough. Get back to work now. Okay, you've had your fill. Go on. Bucko Dredd said something about recreational drugs to Sire. I am working on it. You can never be a pirate captain in real life. I'm like, uh, just go. Just fucking mutiny already. Good lord. Binge party. What are you going to binge? We have nothing but coconuts. Bucko, we've got nothing but coconuts. Oh, and he's down. He's down. Mind adrift. Admiral Bucko. Oh my god, he's catatonic. Catatonic probably because he's got a minus 60 mood from no alcohol. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, God. Okay, Mr. Cringe, you're going to have to step up here as bosun. A bosun quartermaster. He just deals with everything. 
Bucko focuses on the treasure and the stacks and being inspirational. And Master Cringe does all the... I mean, he was a factory factory manager, okay? He does all the numbers. As Quartermaster, he's also technically the second highest rank on the pirate ship. So he's, he's, he's a leader now while Bucko's out for the count. Arr, wake me when there's a drop of grog. Incredible charred energy from Bucko. Falling asleep and refusing to wake up until he gets some alcohol. Does not elaborate further. We are actually cursed. You've, you've got food poisoning from a banana. What did you do with it? You know what? Don't, don't answer that question. I don't need to know. Polly's on a rampage. Really rep repulsive environment. That's your problem. That's your problem. Arnold, get the hell out of that side. Go on in. Go on in. Put that anchor to good use. Listen, Polly, we see eye to eye on a lot of things, okay? You really clearly got in deep on the... Oh, you converted ideology? I wonder if you were curse crew after you... Maybe maybe I should have checked it a little bit after she went... Uh, she, she ended up being a traitor, and then she'd have converted back? That's clearly not our ideology. Oh, no, hang on. That's old world empire. The hell? What's more likely is this room is so horrible to look at, she broke down and her ideology changed. Oh, curious here. Hello. What's that, 300 silver again? Not bad, thank you. At least Bucko will be happy to wake up to something. So you don't have to have a drop of alcohol, do you? Oh my god, what happened to you? Jesus. You want to drink smooth skin? Well, as it would happen, uh, yes. Yes, I really would. I think I need to make things a little more manageable for all our people, because we've taken on a lot. We've got tenants, we've got three prisoners, two colonists, and a significant lack of alcohol. I think first things first, we take Polly's clothes. I want that pirate bandana. And after that, I'm going to take her name back, because... Quite frankly, she's not very good, and I think I'm just going to release her. Goodbye, ex Polly. I appreciate the hat. I, I would have kept her if she wasn't a traitor. She also wasn't very good, so I'm not that bothered. Okay, tenants are unhappy. I'm not going over again. We know why. A junior jeweler. A jeweler? Oh, my God. Named Axe has arrived and wants to join your port. Well, we could do with some extra hands on deck. Even if you're terrible, we need all the help we can get at this point. Axe Gutsman. No, no rename necessary. Tremendous, fantastic name. You've got a critical passion in crafting. This is what I was talking about, right? So all of her other skills, she learns very, very slowly. Even this one here, healing. She's got a double passion in it. Because of that critical crafting, it knocks you down to 25% learn speed. This, though, could be very good. A jeweler is something I think could come in very handy on a pirate ship. You're also called Axe Gutsman. The ideology differences, though. Uh, Raider rather than Pyra. It's very, very similar. Questa, Blood Court, Astrology. Okay, I think we can manage that. That's not a big deal. Oh my god, no! <laughs> uh, oh dear, that's unfortunate, isn't it? Well, I... I mean, I did try and let her go. These things happen. Didn't I didn't even want to be cruel. This wasn't supposed to be a gauntlet. Oh, look at that on the mini-map. You see, this is the only way you can actually get off the map. Right. Okay, I, I'll be honest. I thought it connected down here, but clearly not in hindsight. And even over here. Right. Okay. So this is the only bit of shallows. And then where did she go from there? Just out of pure curiosity. I guess this is all shallower. What? And she walks back to land? Doesn't make much sense. Because she swims it. Maybe there's just another smaller island off the coast up here that she was going to go to, build a raft, and then sail away. Maybe that's it. But of course, she was eaten by a horrible shark. It's a comedy of errors. I mean, I, I love my pirate crew. I really do. But without alcohol, we are totally powerless. You actually want to stay longer? Um, sure. Why not? I, I mean, it is quite annoying to have a constant break risk at the side. But that's the only... What happened? That's the only downside. Uh, is it the heat again? I can't do anything about that. It's the Mr. Cringe show. It's nothing but the Mr. Cringe show now. <laughs> okay, you're fine. You're fine. Mr. Cringe is on it. Boom. Perfect. Windows are shut. Fireplace is turned off. Why well, are you having an enormous fireplace on a tropical island? I'm not entirely sure. And then you've got a lovely breeze box. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. At this point, it's kind of an exclusively sire problem because she is our artificial person. She's still made of flesh. She's still made of blood. She's still got bones and skin and everything else that people have, allegedly. But she also has a heat weakness because she was a robot once. Maybe it's psychological or maybe whoever the mysterious person was that built her did a terrible job. Who really knows? It's so strange. We seem to be building so much faster with an extra person who can actually build stuff. I mean, not well. Now all we need is the metal. And if I'm not mistaken, you had a passion in that, right? Ah, uh, six mining, single passion. That's okay. Oh, God, please just be steel. Oh, it is. Oh, I was worried it might be metal slag or something like that, given that it's called old metal. Oh, it brings a tear to your piratey eye. 
Uh, the one without the patch, I would assume. Make molasses, mead must, unfermented cider. Oh, it's so perfect. A little more metal and a little more timber and we could throw down some fermenting barrels. I suppose I should put down like a rum barrel as well. I think we need specifically sugar for that. Oh, God. Oh, Lord. Mr. Cringe has also gone catatonic because of the lack of alcohol. It's the sire show. I mean, it was always going to be her show. But he's got to keep this shit together, and it's either going to be Bucko or her. The Black Spot! Okay, what, what is that, though? Is that Animal Plague? Black Spot Petty. I presume that's Animal... Yeah, it's Animal Plague. We're fine. Oh, whoa, whoa. Hold on a second. Why am I keeping caravan animals? Where are we, where are we going to take them? Huh? An alpaca swim? I suppose we, we would load up the alpaca, and then we put it on a boat, and then we drop it on land and take the caravan from there, right? Oh, my God. So Mr. Cringe is coming out of his coma then. I now get to choose either Screamish, Mystically Deaf, which I presume is Psychic Sensitivity, and Insomniac. These are all terrible. The problem is, Mr. Cringe, if I'm not mistaken, I can't double check, has a Psylink. That was his whole character's thing. Which basically means we've got a choice of Insomniac, which makes him just terrible at doing basically everything, or Screamish, that makes it so he's going to vomit whenever he sees corpses. And honestly, that's a bit more on brand for Mr. Cringe. You do have that Psy level, right? He's got Psy level 6, and that wasn't even the freaking coma. It was sleeping sickness. That's what he got over. Now that I think about it, Mr. Cringe having Silent level 6 and also having no psychic sensitivity would have been amazing. Got the rum fermenting barrels that need sugar, so we're growing some of that over here. We've got the, the, the grog being made. They've renamed hops to sugarcane and then molasses uh, instead of hops, which is very confusing when you've also got sugarcane and rum, but don't worry about it too much. And actually, with all this freaking fruit, we can make a lot of cider. Oh, hello. You want to stay? All right, you know what? Live your life, big man. Much better moods and much less breakdown now that I've given them all a schedule to do whatever they want. Funny how that works. And they keep gossiping. Bucko and Sire keep gossiping about all these other people. Shit. Hold on. Axe Gutsman is going to need Psykite. Or oh, sorry, Dreamleaf. Well, but when we were looking at character tab, did I not... Sober. Thick skin is good. You take less damage. That's fantastic, especially because you're uh, uh, slightly good at brawling. Of course, you're probably going to forget all that. Sober. You hate using... Oh, drugs for merriment. Okay, so you should be fine then. That, I think, is the type of thing we go ahead and we plant, you know, eventually inside, say, a Bucko Secret Fortress or something like that near his vault. For the time being, we'll just go ahead and slap some down because we haven't really got a choice. Oh. You've given me a colonist that's just going to die. Brilliant. <laughs> Come on! I thought we finally got a bloody break. Nobody's got... Nobody's got the... Uh, the, the, the planting skip... Sorry, I have hiccups. That's not me vomiting at the fact that we can't grow Psyleaf. Oh, God, we actually can't. Oh, for God's sake. Well, I guess Axe is dead then. I can't do anything about it. Ah, oh, those would be my doubloons then. Hello, Creddle. How are you doing? I should really build something a bit more convenient for these people. Oh, my alpaca died of the, of the plague. Of the black spots! I mean, short of waiting for them to plant the fields. Now I can't do anything else for the grog. So let's move our attention to some sort of pirate headquarters, somewhere we can coordinate. Bucko wants a pulpit so they can give his crew orders. Someone else wants to join the bloody crew. Hello. A medieval slave named Cyprian. We do have emancipation, so I feel like I probably should just take you on. And to be honest, I need all the help I can get. Welcome. Oh my god, it's another one of these damn dread pirates. Hello. And they're a Neanderthal. But you've got a hook. You know what? Welcome aboard. Anxious, slob, no skills, Neanderthal. It's a gamer. <laughs> this is a shit crew. This is another terrible person. Ah. Worst case scenario, right? We put them on a boat. We send them out to the Seven Seas. They build their own colony. And then they just pay bucko taxes for protection. That seems good. I need to be clear. This series, we're not the good guys. We're pirates. We are going to steal. We are going to pillage. We are going to kill and murder anything that gets bucko drink and his crew some treasure. Thank God that's done. We need a captain's pulpit. Uh, yeah, build it out of whatever. Timber, there you go, fine. And then we'll need a little lectern. And then a couple of pews so they can sit there and listen to him giving orders. Okay, okay, Admiral Bucko's gone on another tent right because we're out of alcohol. Are you shitting my britches here? It's too hot to grow crops. Please, please, my god, please, we're so close to alcohol. I'm almost free of this prison of my own making. Hello, how you doing? What the hell is even that? Got some very unimpressed looking dogs as well. <laughs> <laughs> That's the face of a dog who's just found a ticket on his car. Hello. Oh, good lord. Well, this is going to be uh, interesting. Mr. Cringe, Axe, man the cannons. Oh, that's a lot of dogs. That's a lot of dogs. The dogs are coming in first. Broadside those dogs. Kill them all. 
<laughs> Stupid dog. Better suggestion, actually, broadside the people, because they seem a little bit more, a little bit more dangerous than a bunch of dogs that we could deal with with uh, uh, Siren about two seconds flat. Here, set force target on you. Knock him out. Where's that one with the massive cannon-looking thing? I'm not a fan of that. Bucko, that's on you, my friend. Sire, step forward. Get him. Nice, nice, and nice. You take the, take the front line. Okay, I'm going to say search and destroy. Shit, they're attacking the cannons. Damn, clever, clever dogs. Clever dogs. Great shot from Bucko. I want that cannon. I want that cannon. What are they, what are they here for anyway? They're slavers, right? Igniting my planter boxes. Don't do that. Don't do that, please. I need that for my, my lovely crops. Okay, uh, I want you to come over here and maybe stop them. Because they're looking to knock our people down, at which point they'll just... <sighs> what about the guy with the massive cannon? Bucko! Kill it, for God's sake! I love that you've also got all this room to dodge the bear traps and you walk right into it. <gasps> was that... That was an hour marine iguana, was it? I don't think so. Oh, I certainly hope not. Nice, good work. Good work! Oh, shit, we got ourselves a crypto hatchet. Can you take that one out? Because I want that cannon of theirs. Nice. Sire. Get them. Get them. Kill them dead. Give me your goddamn ha goddamn cannon. Wait, you knocked one down. Oh my god, you actually knocked one out. We've got perfect long range control, and then when they get too close, kapow. Golden anchor. You know what? Maybe strip them first. Wait, that's free crypto gear. That's free crypto gear. Shit. Ah. Okay, no, no, no. You keep going for that, because I want that big cannon. I don't know what the fuck it was, but I want it. Uh, Bucko, you get over here. Strip. Borgildason. You're coming with me, Borghild, the son of Tenric clan. Oh. Oh, my oh it's biocoded. Oh. I mean, it makes sense. That'd be, that'd be ridiculous otherwise. That'd be far too easy to get crypto armor, huh? Get him, sire. Oh, you fool. Oh, better run, Carola. She's right behind you. Look at the size of that fucking cannon. War casket. You can just equip those. Requires war casket. Well, this man doesn't need a goddamn war casket. You any good? Uh, you are a dunce. Very good. Hindered mental capabilities. Global learning factor minus 50%. Oh, Jesus. Um, Strip them and let them walk away. Strip them and let them walk away. <gasps> oh, my God. Looks like meat's back on the menu, boys. That one's also biocoded. Very sad because that one's the heavy armor, too. <gasps> this is a great day. It's gin. Gin is an old lady's drink. I'm sorry. i got got to tell you that. A celebratory drink for my good fighters. Get a drink. Oh, I didn't even draft up. Cyprian. I don't know why I'm just so associating these people with uh, with just being tenants. Have yourself a drink, by all means. A bottle of gin each. Look at this. Happy days. Happy days. Mr. Cringe couldn't even bother to sit down with it. You're just necking an entire bottle of gin. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. That's problematic. Um, Alcohol warmth. Gin high. What does that give? 2% extra social impact. Oh, this is nice. It's just like single-handedly solved all of our mood issues. Look at that. Right the way up to 100% from zero. <laughs> it's so perfect. Hey, another end delivery. And I was just about to mention, we've broken a thousand plunder. Well done, everyone. All from, like, renting out rooms to people. But uh, it's a pirate town. It's a port city. Maybe these people want to lay low. We don't know what's going on. No questions asked, my friend. We could really do with some sort of proper mess hall now. We've got six people. Granted, one's just a guest temporarily. And we might not keep Cyprian in the long term because they're really just got off. I suppose what I could do is if we put the door like here and swap this room, because because having the having the port close to where we're going to be preparing food makes sense. There's so much I want to do with this map because it's such a sick map. I think eventually I want to build some kind of defensive structures down here, not necessarily star forts or anything like that, but something like that at the edge of the bay. Shit, if only we could build some sort of colossus, that would be awesome. But you know what? I'll take that for the time being. To cringe, no. Stealing items from visitors because he's got poor morale? Oh, for God's sake. What exactly are you going to steal from them? I don't understand. What did you just steal from them, you little shit? Oh, my God. 47 to 47%. There was almost no point getting these, these prisoners while we've got such little wealth. Oh, my God. I can play the game. Thank God. Cringe, it's time to cook. Get in there. Ah! Uh! What is wrong with you? Just give me five minutes. Oh, it's a bunch of predatory turtles. Mr. Cringe, man, the cannons. <laughs> Get fucked, Donatello, you big turtle bitch. <laughs> I have already lost control. This is my favorite series I think we've maybe ever done. <laughs> it's just something about broadsiding a flamingo. Fuck me the overkill. 
<laughs> Look at the mess. Well, I think, uh, I think that went well. I think I won't really... Bucko! It's not very reassuring that with this enormous cannon, he can't even hit a turtle. Oh, well. As if the bloody turtle raid did more damage than the Vikings. For Christ's sake. What just happened? What just happened? Axe has become enraged. Caused by being damaged while wearing a bear headdress. What just happened? <laughs> I look away for one second. Are you joking? I mean, to be fair, she was going to die anyway. It was only nine more days before she fell into a coma. So maybe, maybe not too terrible. Maybe not the saddest death that could have occurred. So, so somebody punched her. Yeah, no shit. She suffered a permanent injury. Bucko, I think, just shot her with a mortar at point blank range. Genuinely don't know what happened. That went by so goddamn fast. Okay, um... Does somebody want to come patch this up fast? Actually, is this enclosed yet? Not quite. Oh, we're almost done. We're almost done building the new prison. Sorry, Mr. Cringe. Your bedroom's the only room that I can put the captives in. Well, we haven't got enough components to build a stove, so I guess we're going with an old-fashioned fueled stove. This is lovely. Feels very piratey. The problem with that is we're not going to be able to build a chiller until we get more consistent components. Like a trade console would be amazing. We're a bit far off of that, though. This <laughs> is just passive coolers all in. That's fine. Nothing to worry about. To be honest, I'm a massive fan of this weird world we've got going on. It feels like a medieval playthrough, and then we've got shit like vanimetric power cells and crypto armor. Makes it feel so much more special. I mean, how many bloody series? This is a problem in the last Bucko series. Everybody, by the end, dressed head to toe in siege break armor with the best weapons. That's it. Nothing unique about it at all. Goodbye, Arnold. Thank you for joining us for a while. More importantly, Arnold, we seem to have found ourselves the first ever treasure. The venerated lament configuration. I don't think I really want that, but I think we're going to take it anyway. You imagine the mood boost for collecting all these relics. You imagine the museum I can build with all of that shit. Happy days. My God, we can start playing the game. Happy, happy days. Mr. Cringe, crack open the grog. Bocco is finally going to come back to us and do a little bit of good work. Everybody's moods are going to be increased tenfold. Look at this. And actually, how close is the next batch to growing? 62%. So it's going to be our... Uh, we're going to have to expand out the farm at some point, but it's a pretty good cycle. Bear in mind, we've also got the sugar cane that's 62% grown as well. Then we can make a shitload of rum. Now, I have the Days Matters mod where we can celebrate and keep track of the important milestone events that happen in this base, right? Settlement on the planet. Actually, we probably should have a celebration, right? So have a nice afternoon and maybe evening celebration for that one. Birthdays, that's an all-day celebration. Relationship anniversaries, that'd be nice to know. We'll just do noon for that. Marriage anniversaries. Actually, let's go afternoon on both those as well. There you go. I'm going to add a new one here on the 4th of December. Our third month here, something like that. We have finally got our first uh, Bucko brand grog. Amazing. Get that shit written down. Well, that's not just, that's an all-day type of celebration. God, I can't have too many of these. Otherwise, we're never going to get any work done. <laughs> as for our moods, as for our social opinions, look at this. Everybody is happy. Bucko and Master Cringe, they've been through a lot of tension recently. Master Cringe ate human flesh. When did that happen? I didn't notice that. I wasn't informed. Would you just do that for a lot? You know what? It doesn't matter too much. They're all friends. But uh, Bucko's not so sure about Cringe because he apparently ate someone. Oh, look at this. And Bucko rolled over in bed. He asked Sai how she coped with the isolation of life on the room world. She sighed and shared her feelings openly with him. Everybody's having a great time. Uh, Sire and Mr. Cringe are best friends. That's so nice. And in fact, look at this. You're friends with everybody. This is insane. They're such a lovely, cohesive, kind crew. And because of today, we've got through the hardest times. The times with no alcohol. Thank you all for joining me today. We are through the hardest and darkest of times. I knew it was going to be difficult having this many people. I mean, taking the alcohol meme in general, always a pain in the ass because you've got like a good season or two before you're going to get it in production, right? I knew it was going to happen. We fought through two comas, uh, lots of berserk rampages, lots of dazes, lots of illnesses, a prisoner accidentally being murdered due to someone going berserk. Technically, someone died, but they, they were going to die anyway because we can't grow psychite. Overall, a blessed occasion. Tomorrow, I think we build a goddamn big boat and we go out and we do some pirate activities because it's all quiet at home. It's quiet and it's lovely. Thank you to Christian Kopis, Igtastic, Coyote Seattle, Novice Sun, Yubbin, Matt Lewin, Kerbo Supreme, Vladreax, 
Mika, Gogolas, Grey Seeker, Bradso90, Etubes, The Cat Lover 366, Old Trash Panda, Nikolai Nielsen, and Tempest underscore for their support of the executive producer tiers over on Patreon. Thank you for being here. Thank you for, I hope, enjoying a little bit of Mr. Cringe. Thank you as well to Jizzleson, Bullplot, Merlin Kane, Lassero, Croco Kyle, to Ranar, and Thomas Holt as well on the second channel, Fallout 4. Uh, a nerdly series has begun. Of course, continuing with Crusader Kings over here. And then on the Elise and Sam channel, we have more or less every day a little bit of Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines with the two of us. So please go and have a look. And I shall see you all tomorrow.